all, and welcome to Sanctuary Sunday. Sanctuary! Where I take a break from my weekly wargaming content to tackle a topic that uh, is near and dear to me, but yet not wargaming or not sci-fi or fantasy, because that's on Saturday. This is Sunday, and it's a special Sunday. It is Super Bowl Sunday. And it's a special Super Bowl Sunday for me because the city where, where I was born and grew up in, Kansas City, the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl again. Now, I don't want to offend any Philadelphia Eagle fans, but I got to root for my Chiefs. In fact, a little story there on the Eagles, the first bet I ever made, which was in junior high, uh, I bet on the Eagles. I bet the Eagles to beat the Raiders because if you're a Chiefs fan, you are not necessarily a Raiders fan. And I lost that bet. That was the good old Ron Jaworski, Wilbert Montgomery, Harold Carmichael, Herman Edward days of the Eagles. And uh, Dick Vermeil let me down. Dick Vermeil eventually came to the Chiefs, and those Chiefs kind of let me down too. But you know what? If you're a Chiefs fan, you're used to that kind of disappointment until a certain number 15 came along and it kind of changed things. In fact, you know, my all time favorite player growing up was Lenny Dawson, who passed. Uh, at the at, you know in 2022 passed uh, at the beginning of the season or before the beginning of the season this football season uh and he uh, still holds a close place in in my heart uh as my favorite player growing up and uh 15 had some pretty big shoes to fill and he has done them <laughs> in an amazing way in fact he's gone above and beyond any expectations there so this is my Super Bowl Sunday, Sanctuary Sunday, and I thought I'd cover a little bit of uh, the football games that uh, I grew up with. Uh, I was more of a baseball fan, uh, and I mean, I played football, so that was my favorite sport to play, but baseball was kind of my first love of sports growing up. So if when we do this edition of uh, baseball, uh, hopefully the Royals will get back to the World Series at some point. Uh, I'll have a ton of games to cover because I have a lot of baseball games, but the game that I, I've you know played the most was Stratomatic Baseball, and the football game that I played the most was Stratomatic Pro Football. Um, I didn't uh, co uh, collect this as religiously as I did baseball. I got a lot of the teams over the years, and 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 I also picked up teams from, from some of the other baseball games over the year. Stratic, uh, Stratic, um, Stratomatic Pro Football. I, I did a few seasons of that. Um, and uh, but again, because I just wasn't uh, as rabid a football uh, collector uh, of games, but played a lot of Stratomatic football. Uh, this is a game in which it you know recreates or or tries to simulate the the football season you know you have the stats of the team and then you play the game and um uh and you can play a whole season and see how the stats uh line up and i played several seasons of this uh this was a little bit different than baseball baseball was just a, pretty much a straight over you know roll the dice uh have pitcher versus hitter and if you played the advanced game, there were some more decisions. Here, you made a lot more decisions because you made decisions on the board on where to, you know, what kind of formation you wanted to use, and where you put your uh, put your players, and trying to guess the uh, guess the offense and and pick the defense. So there was more decisions in this other than just a straight roll dice and see what the stats hold up. Uh, there was a little bit more involved in that. Uh, other games that I played or picked up over the years, I played some Status Pro football, um, and uh, I, I tended to like uh, strato, strato, Stratomatic football better than Status Pro, uh, just because I was more fond of the Stratomatic system, but Status Pro football was, was a good system in its own right. I had also picked up uh, SPI football. This actually predates some of these, but this is really basic uh, and really did not have the support of having a lot of teams with it. This, these were more 
you know, full season uh, type simulations. This was just kind of a, a historical type sim and, and really wasn't all that, you know, whippy uh, as far as my, my, uh, my feel for it. I've also picked up some more abstract type football games. Here's first and goal. This is a dice game. Uh, it's not really meant to recreate real football or, or present day football, uh, but you have these dice. You have d each, each of these teams here, as you can see, this shows the reference of the teams. And here are all the different teams that you can get. This this did not, uh, this carrying case did not come with it. This is just where I, I keep my dice. But you have these teams are represented uh, these the teams are represented by dice, and you're going to roll the dice. Uh, and some of them have, you know, are based on, the, the dice are all unique, and you got to put the stickers on all of them. That's real fun. But um, they have different abilities. Some teams, you know, are, are good at running. Some teams are good at passing. Some teams are really good at defense. And these dice play that out. There's also cards that you you know the cards in this game were basically how you. Um, the timing of the game and and how you played the cards and and picked offenses defenses basically ran, determined how, how a quarter went uh and uh so there was some card play and some picking of offenses and defenses but there was a uh, unique dice rolling that was in that game as well also you know I, I picked up from time to time some of these you know like these trading card games um which were basically had you know they they tried to put, make a uh relation to real life or stats but this was basically kind of a, a tops trump type game of of playing out the different uh players and they have certain abilities to run pass and star ratings and stuff but you know this i never really i just picked these up more as a collector type situation i would get packs that were um you know that were on sale uh so you know didn't really get much into into this game um, other than just kind of a collection and, and, and played it a few times, but it really wasn't, you know, that, uh, that big of a, of a, of a draw for me. And, you know, there's all these, you know, gridiron football. This is like a little card game. It says it's realistic. It's really not. I mean, status pro and, uh, stratomatic were much more realistic than that. Uh, I have some other football games, but they're kind of ferreted away. And I have a ton of uh, fantasy-based football games. You know, there's uh, uh, Blood Bowl and Blitz Bowl and um, Chaos Ball and, oh, uh, Battle Ball. And, I've, uh, and if I do a fantasy football, a true fantasy football uh, edition, I'll probably cover those. But I'll probably cover those on a, on a sci-fi fantasy Saturday because, again, that fits more into the fantasy type realm of, of those kind of games. These are the ones that are really kind of try to recreate football uh, proper. And I know there's a lot of other games out there, but I, again, these are the ones I kind of got into. I was really, again, more into the baseball side. I also got into basketball. I will say this, the Status Pro Basketball, I played that. Uh, I never even picked up the uh, Stratomatic uh, Basketball. I picked up uh, the Status Pro Basketball was the one I played the most. And I would get the all-star replays and uh, recreate teams. In fact, I recreated my uh, college team from the um, from the 80s and 90s uh, that uh, um, uh, using the all-star replay system for status pro basketball and played the heck out of that. Uh, also, title bout. Title bout is the best boxing game. I, I, and I've picked up some others over time, but that's still my first love. And I got that like at a Sears outlet store or something like that. Some crazy thing like that. So, um, so this is the football I have. Uh, again, I might cover the fantasy aspect of it at some point, uh, and then, and cover other sports games. But on, on, uh, Sanctuary Sunday, Super Bowl edition, I thought I would cover what I have there uh, for you. You know, there's the, my kingdom flag for the Chiefs kingdom. Uh, best of luck to the Philadelphia Eagles fans and, and to that team. Uh, played a great season, but, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for my Chiefs. Um, Got to love my Chiefs and everything they've overcome and fought over uh, the year. And, you know, Andy Reid just doesn't get enough love out there for, uh, you know, for what he's done. I mean... He's five straight uh, AFC championships at home, and yet he's never in the discussion for head coach of the year. 
So you, you basically, to get coach of the year, you have to basically take a, a failed franchise and win a few games uh, to get nominated for that. Uh, nothing about, you know, being there every year and, uh, and dealing with adversity and change in personnel and, and coming out. So anyway, there you have it. Sanctuary Sunday. Go Chiefs for all you Chiefs fans. Let's, let's, uh, let's bring this one home. But uh, looking for a good game uh, and a good, hopefully good officiated game. Don't get me started on that. Anyway, have a good one. Sanctuary Sunday. Go Chiefs. Hello all, it's me again. Two things I forgot to mention. One is a story of the first football game I ever played, at least first football board game I ever played, which if we're talking about uh, Sanctuary Sunday Super Bowl edition football board games, I've got to talk about this. And the other one is a follow-up to something I mentioned earlier. First, the first football game I ever played, Fran Tarkenden's Pro Football. Now, why don't I have a copy of this and why am I just showing it on my phone? Well, that's the story. Um, I used to play this with my brother, who was a great influence on me as far as sports. Uh, everything I learned and my, my passion for sports, especially baseball cards and football cards and collecting stuff, uh, and following the Chiefs, what came through my brother, who's seven years older than I am. And so when I was just a little pipsqueak, we used to play this, and I would beat him. And he did not like that. And so after... I don't know how which number of game it was, but after a certain number of games in which I beat him, well, uh, this went in the trash. Uh, also, I have a similar story on the fate of the uh, 61 Reds who uh, got lit on fire and the 27 Yankees after my uh, 27 uh, Pirates beat them. Of course, you know, to his defense, Ruth uh, got injured in game one. But anyway, I digress. That's for a baseball uh, episode. This is Sanctuary Sunday Super Bowl edition. Fran Tarkin in football it was really more of a, a pick, you know, you pick your defense, trying to guess what their offense is. They pick their offense, you compare, and then there was a result. Uh, I remember it had kind of a felt background. The cards were kind of a, a, a had a glossy cover, were thick, and then it had a felt background. I, I remember and you put it on the board. Anyway, uh, interesting game. I can never find it. I can't find a copy out there anywhere. But uh, I know where my, my brother's copy went. Now for the other story. As I said before, uh, my first football bet ever was in middle school uh, with, uh, I took the Eagles against the Raiders in the uh, 80 Super Bowl or uh, 1980 season. And uh, the person I bet with uh, ended up marrying the person I was dating at that time. Now that wasn't the subject of the bet. But I found that a little bit interesting. I was just thinking about that the other day, that uh, first football bet ever made that I lost. I lost to the guy who ended up marrying the, my girlfriend of that time. Anyway, strange things can happen. Strange things happen around football. Let's hope that it doesn't get too strange uh, for the Super Bowl. And let's bring home the victory. Go Chiefs! Thanks for watching.